Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a server with cheats enabled on Life 4 Dead 2 only on the Steam version. So make sure you have that. And after you've done purchased it or already own it, I, you'd also need to purchase Life 4 Dead 2 cheats from Aimware. Because this is important to uh, the steps I'm about to show you how to First of all, I'm going to be doing this on my desktop as the local host of the server, as you could see. And I have a second computer, which is a laptop, and it will be helping us to uh, make sure that the server has two opposite sides for at least one person on two different teams for the special infected and the survivors because it won't work if there's only just one because it requires both teams. Another thing to note is that you need to have Steam logged out then you download the client from their website Aimware and once you do that, you have to right click and run as a missioner, the client. And what you do is you put your username and your password, the same one that you use for your Aimware form login. And then you click the game, which is Life or Dead 2, and you click load. And then it should tell you that it's, it's, it needs to wait, and then it should excessively inject it to the game, then you log back into your Steam account, and then you, la you launch the game. Also, another thing to note, make sure you have the console enabled. You go to your keyboard and mouse. Allow, allow developer console enabled. That's important for the server. For any server that you want to create, like campaign, survival, and versus, this is important. And if you're unsure what that is, this key right here on your keyboard, you press that, and it should bring up the developer's console. As you can see, clearly. Um, that's how you bring it up. What you want to do, since this, we're going to be creating a versus lobby, you, play, you click on play versus, play with friends, create a new versus lobby, doesn't matter what campaign, you, you click on permissions, public game uh, local server after you click on the server type create a lobby doesn't matter what character okay now as you can see somebody joined my lobby an actual person but this is not the person who supposed to join but whatever um, if you look closely it says friends playing even though I'm not on my friends list on my other account we're still gonna click it anyway so we click on friends playing join the game Sorry, it's blurry. I don't know why it's doing that. But if, if you can see, if, sorry if you can't make it out, but it, it, but you can see that's the same guy and I'm the server host. Oh, there we go. Um, but yeah, you got want to make sure that you're affected. So you want to go click on choose a character and then, or it could be the op other way. Like, I could be the survivor and the host could be the infected. 
You see, he's he's typing. He says, "Well, that's cool." So, it's proof that uh, it's, it's actual a person playing, and he's not related to my friends list. So, yeah. Now, what you want to do before you set up the lobby is uh, press insert on your keyboard. Go to MISC, part 2, and don't press anything yet. Now we start the game. You could press insert again. It takes time to load though. Now we're going to press insert. Click on bypass cheats and enable the hidden crap and now we press that squiggly line I showed you on the key the console key and you're gonna be typing these codes I'll put them in the description so you can see it clearly Each of these codes means something, these commands I'm putting, and uh, the self-explanatory. Um, the first one I typed out was is very important, SB all bot game, that is basically makes it so that the person who's playing as the infected right now, as soon as he leaves, the game doesn't tell you that the server shutting down and requires a human, actual human being playing on the opposite team. So you can basically play by yourself. The second one I typed was self-explanatory. Uh, all talk enabled. You had to put one in order to work. So basically, instead of, instead of just typing to each other across teams, you can actually communicate through the mic. And you can hear each other communicating voices. The other one I put in was the voting system. I put it zero, no votes allowed, so people don't abuse that shit. Because, you know, this game has the most shittiest community ever, and they tend to abuse that to no end. Um, the other ones. If you want to, those are optional, but it, it makes it quicker. Is uh, fast respawning for the special affected, no delays. As soon as they die, they respawn, and you can just get back into the action. And you want to put those as zero too. And then the other one was just turning off the cheats. It's important for that. That's another important thing. Turn off the cheats because once you enable the bypass cheats, everybody can anybody else who joins the server can uh, basically use the console command themselves. And it gets worse when there's people abusing it, like using no clip or they're they're s killing the person over and over by using the kill command. But yeah. That's about it. I mean, I'll show you once what, what happens if he leaves. As you saw, player, the player, the skull I, uh, text I, art icon, he left, but the game didn't shut down. So I can basically play by myself. However, since this is a public lobby, people are going to join. It takes a while. Depending on what map, like the popularity of uh, 
no mercy you get more people joining quicker so yeah this works on campaign and survival as well it's a little easier to do because oh as you saw there's one person but he left and committed suicide for no reason but like I was saying, yeah, on campaign and survival, it's much easier. You All you have to do is just put in the all bot command and then turn off the cheats because what, if you leave the cheats enabled, it can also ruin the stats. Like the stats don't record if you're into that, like if it's important to you, such as like if you're trying to get gold, metal, then that won't, that won't uh, record the record. And it will be basically stuck on uh, whatever record you had previously. Like say I have it, I have it on bronze, and I want to get to gold, but then it doesn't turn to gold, even though it said I got gold. And campaigns the same thing. Yeah. So um, hope you uh, enjoy my tutorial. I try to make it. You know, a easier, quick step of it because lots of these videos you see, you know, they they say oh port forward, port forward, but they don't really go in detail, and it's a little easier to do on uh, Life or Dead too because it doesn't require all that bullshit. All right, thank you for watching. Hopefully, if you have any questions, um. Don't leave you don't leave a comment on my YouTube channel because I constantly get ghost banned because of YouTube's uh, censorship bullshit. If you want to contact directly to me, you should add me on Steam and hope and comment on my Steam page, or just do my uh, Steam chat and I'll get back to you as soon as I can because I have more important to do in my life. Anyway, thanks for watching.